It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. On a weekend update, I'm Michael Che. And I'm Colin Jost. Well, this week, Robert Mueller released the teaser trailer for Trump Endgame. <laughs> Federal prosecutors said Friday that Michael Cohen committed two election related crimes at the direction of a person identified as Individual One. Now, we don't know for sure who Individual One is, but let's just say things are getting tense right now over at Individual One Tower. <laughs> Earlier today, Trump called the Mueller report Collusion Illusion, which is also my favorite Guns N' Roses album. <laughs> and yesterday, Trump tweeted, with no context or explanation, totally clears the president. Thank you. Huh. Sounds like somebody's been reading The Secret. <laughs> By the way, I don't blame Trump for thinking his tweets have magical power. I mean, just this week, his tweets about China were able to tank the entire stock market. <laughs> <laughs> but at some point, if every single person you hired gets indicted, the odds are you had something to do with it. I mean, if all of Santa's elves and all of Santa's reindeer got busted by the feds, you would not expect Santa to tweet, totally clear for Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> Trump is now calling for an end to the Mueller probe, which I got to admit, it's worth a shot. <laughs> I mean, you don't want to go to jail and then find out you could have just called it off the whole time. <laughs> I think the scariest thing about watching Trump be president is that he tries all the things that I would try. <laughs> president Trump also tweeted that he will be doing a major counter report to the Mueller report. <laughs> well, you better hurry up, bud, because you only get one hour a day on that prison computer. <laughs> also, nothing says you're guilty more than making a counter report before the Mueller report is even out. <laughs> That means he knows it's gonna be bad. It's like when you're watching cops and as soon as they pull up to the house, there's already a shirtless guy on the lawn saying, okay, now, first of all, she's lying. <laughs> President Trump announced today that John Kelly, his chief of staff, is leaving the position at the end of the year because Kelly requires extensive surgery to remove his palm from his face. <laughs> That's how awful it is to work in the Trump White House, by the way. John Kelly spent 40 years in the Marines. He did three tours in Iraq, and he couldn't finish one tour with Donald Trump. <laughs> Trump also announced that his attorney general nominee will be William Barr, who served as attorney general from 91 to 93. A reboot of someone with the last name Barr, who was big in the early 90s? What could go wrong? <laughs> Barr will replace acting attorney general Matthew Whitaker, who previously served as the bodysuit for Krang. <laughs> and memorial services for former President George H.W. Bush were held this week. Many observers said that President Trump looked bored, but I think he was just getting an idea. He was thinking, wait, before this whole Mueller report comes out, I could just fake my own death and escape to the last place anyone would ever look for me, <laughs> Mexico. And you know Trump will be the first guy to ever fake his own death via tweet. 